Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm near Jackpot, Nevada. Nevada, I thought you were in northern middle part of Idaho. Well, I was. Spent some time up there with some good friends up in the Sawtooth Mountains. Some subscribers that are now good friends along the uh, along Highway 21. Made some friends in Meridian, Boise. But uh, I just felt it's time to head south. The snow was right on my heels the whole time. I just kept pushing it and pushing it and it worked. People, people are telling me, all you're doing is showing us empty campgrounds. Everybody that had any sense already left. I like, I like empty campgrounds. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I enjoy people. Uh, and I like, I have friends that I camp with that you well know. But I, I also love the serenity. I was up there in those Sawtooth Mountains. Felt like I had a million acres all to myself. Money doesn't buy that. <laughs> well, probably helps. But uh, I had to decide, do I go west to Oregon or do I head south? And my buddy, uh, his name was JD, uh, wife Lisa, uh, they told me my best bet would be to go to Twin Falls and head south. They gave me a couple different routes. But they told me about this place here. This is the Salmon Reservoir. I'm going to turn the camera around. We'll talk about it. This is very close to Jackpot, Nevada. I have not passed through it yet. The dam is up there. And I was told this is some of the best fishing around, hands down. The campsites are nice. You got a uh, shelter, kinda sorta, with, with holes in it. Shelter, shelter from the sun. Nice new picnic tables. You got a grill. Very nice fire ring. Pan around here and let you see what I'm looking at. I was the only person here. Let's see if I can get a shot of a well. The vault toilets are open. And they have dumpsters. Well, there's one. Of course, I use my own and an RV dump. The water is cut off, but I expect that. I don't know. It's up in those mountains, and it was cold. But I'm 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 warm and cozy. I got good clothes, and me and the babies were comfortable inside the RV. But the wind coming off this lake, whoo! My van was just a rocking last night. There wasn't nobody in there but just me. This wind was howling and just pushing my van all around. It's cold. I'm going to walk over here to the water. Put these babies up because I don't want them to fall in. Let you take a better look. I wish I got a picture of it. And I might yet. But there are some rabbits here. That are huge. Jackrabbits. I'd say they're as big or bigger than Tucker. And I hadn't seen any owl, uh, hawks or eagles or anything, but last night, ooh, the owls were hoo 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 hooing. <laughs> How'd that go? Hoo 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 hooing. <laughs> so when I let the babies out to potty last night, and I took them out one by one with a leash. Here we go. A 
Look at all this volcanic rock. There's traffic going across the dam, but I didn't hear a single car last night. I mean, this is really isolated out here. I'm about six, seven miles off the main highway. I believe it was 93 south. Probably a car an hour. Say it with me. Panning slowly, panning slowly, panning slowly. We don't need no stinking gimbal. Oh, what a picture. Snap. Now there's the boat ramps are over here. You got outhouses for them, outhouses, toilets for them. Then you've got like overflow camping that doesn't have any shelter or place, good places to park. But then I got tons of shelters. This is $5 a night. I have not seen one piece of trash on the ground. I walked inside the pit toilet. They were perfect as a pit toilet can be. Of course, I still use my portable toilet. Isn't this beautiful? Like I said, I was told it's some of the best fishing around. And there were some boaters that came in here. I saw a boat earlier. Yeah, there it is. You gotta love to fish to be out fishing with it like this, this windy and this cold. <laughs> so where am I headed? Don't know exactly. South. I'm going to try to stay out of the high elevations as much as I can. Uh, maybe I'll go to the van build. Maybe I want. I hate it getting out of the trees and the rivers and the forest though. I mean I like the desert. Don't get me wrong. But once you're there, you're there. This terrain out here isn't a whole lot different than the desert. I do kind of miss my friends. Who knows where we're headed? We're just going with the wind. People say you've been complaining too much about the trash and the noisy neighbors and kids doing donuts and you're around your van shouldn't be complaining about those kind of stuff we watch you because you're positive not negative well I want you to watch me because I'm real and I tell it the way I see it I believe I'm breathing heavy this place is immaculate I'd say perfect. I'll give credit where credit's due. Very, very nice. Very much worth five dollars. Man, where'd you go? I was looking for you and I couldn't see you. Well, Tucker, I walked right over there to the water and showed him the dam and the lake. I wanted to go. Whining ain't gonna help. I'd have took you, but I'd have took you, Tuck, but you'd have, you'd have fell in the water. Man, I can swim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you can. That cold water hits you, you, you wouldn't swim for long. Where are the babies? Y'all finished making up the bed this morning? Daddy, I don't make up beds. I'm, I'm security. I thought Tucker was security. What about you, Martini? How's your tongue doing? My tongue still hurts a little bit, but it's a lot better. Okay. You're not sickies no more, right, baby May May? No, my cold is much better. Thank you, Daddy. All right, well, let's get started with our day. Well, I'll tell you what, I, uh, well, I finally figured out that my Carhartt sticker is just going to have to go back here on the back <laughs> that way I won't have to worry about it 
being centered up right here. I tried I tried uh, duct tape, super glue, and uh, thumbtacks, and nothing held. So I'm just going to turn it around, let it fly. I like my Carhartt jacket. I do. I want to get out of this thing. This van's warm. Keep it warm for my babies. I like it. it. Repels rain good, but it's not near as warm as I had hoped. It's got the Thinsulate liner in it, but I'm having to wear it over my hoodie to uh, to stay warm. But it's fixing not to be an issue. I'm fixing to be in the desert, I guess. Okay, come on, baby Maymays. Come on, baby Maymays. Y'all got to get up here. Come on. Come on, Martini. Good baby. There's one. Baby May May. There's two. I don't let them ride back there when I'm driving. Maybe around the campground or where I'm camped at, but not on the highway. They'll ride up here with the chair. Of course, who knows what's safer. That airbag's no good for them. Do what I can do. All right, we're going to head out of here. Y'all ready to go? Somewhere warmer, maybe. Yep, we can do that. I kind of like it here, Daddy. I do too, baby. Five thousand eight hundred and fifty miles. Spin around so you can see oh, the campsites here. Isn't this nice? The water is cut off. I could use five gallons. Someone left some firewood right there. Looky, looky, looky. A dumpster. That's what I'm talking about. Look how clean. Very, very clean. There must be six or seven of them in here. The Lud, Lud, Lud Drexler Park. Dedicated in 1981. Thank you very much, sir. I guess if you're a lucky man, you get to be remembered that way. That gorgeous. All right, well, I'm gonna sit here and get out my Rand McNally. Yeah, I've got technology, but uh, this is how my friend uh, Bill taught me back uh, when I bought my business from him how to travel. So I have the old standby. Don't get me wrong, GPS is awesome, but uh, I'm gonna figure out which way I'm going. And I gotta find another place to stay tonight and do it all over again. I can use a laundromat too. Okay. But I'm going to end this little video. <laughs> I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. I promise. You guys take care. Bye-bye.